Boo. Long time no see, what's up? My name is Steven Messner, and if you're subscribed to this channel, you're probably like, where the heck have you been? Uh, yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> Whoops. So here's the thing, 2020 was off to this amazing start. I started this YouTube channel, I was making a ton of excellent progress developing Prono Mage, and then it all just kind of stopped. It's been an extremely depressing year, but I think the real problem was that I succumbed to probably the biggest rookie mistake you can make when starting a YouTube channel uh, about game development, which is that I was just too ambitious with my release cycle. Initially, I wanted to do a video of one developer log a week, uh, and that was just a lot. Uh, I felt a ton of pressure early Early on to make a lot of progress in Chrono Mage that week because I needed a developer log that actually had something worth uh, talking about, worth showing, which then just killed my motivation. And against this backdrop of the entire world feeling like it was going to hell, it was just really easy to forget that all of this existed and just hide on my Animal Crossing island for a couple of months. There were long months of this year where it felt like the best I could do was get out of bed, show up to work at PC Gamer, write about video games, and then just veg out in front of the TV all evening. So yeah, 2020 was an unexpectedly shit year. Uh, and I probably don't have to remind you of that. But it wasn't all bad either. Uh, in August, Canada's quarantine restrictions loosened enough that I got the chance to drive out to the West Coast to my favorite place on the planet and marry my best friend and then spend a couple of weeks exploring some of our favorite places in Canada. It was incredible. I also managed to hang up two of the three Studio Ghibli art prints that I got years ago. Um, I'm, I'm really hoping that 2021 is the year that I get to the courage and, and uh, willpower to hang up this third one, but I don't wanna push myself too hard because it's all about baby steps, right? And despite the fact that I didn't make videos for most of 2020, I did actually continue development on Chrono Mage and made some progress. And honestly, that just feels like a huge win. I'm someone that often struggles with following through on personal projects. And so while 2020 wasn't the year that I made, you know, achieved anything amazing or made incredible progress or finished my first game or anything like that, I'll take these small victories where I can get them. So anyway, that's what happened. This is all caught up. This is why I disappeared for most of the year. But the good news is I am back and I am back with a much more realistic plan for how I'm going to grow this channel and release videos on a somewhat regular basis. So let's get caught up with Chrono Mage, right? Uh, the last time I made a video, the game looked like this. It was was ugly, I hated it, but it was also so early in its development, I couldn't really expect for anything more. Uh, so part of this year I spent learning things like pixel art and working on the character sprite specifically for Chrono Mage herself. Uh, and so now the game looks like this, and it's a little bit better. Um, I also spent weeks learning how Unity's lighting system works uh, and shaders work uh, just so I could create this pixelated dithered lighting effect that I thought would look really awesome and then once I completed it after you know spending probably 40 hours on it I decided that I didn't like it because game development. So I mean the game is nowhere near finished it's still pretty ugly I get it but it looks a lot better than it did before and I'm really proud of the progress I made in spite of what was happening this year. And so that brings us to 2021 and what I hope to accomplish this year. My big goal this year is to finally have a playable prototype, a demo of the game that you can play from start to finish, which I don't think should be that hard, right? Because it's the 60 second roguelike, how, how much can there be? Looking back on 2020, I realized one of my biggest mistakes was just getting really wrapped up on the little details and spending far too long on them. Um, there was a lot of hours I spent just spinning wheels, uh, tinkering and tweaking. And on the one hand, you know what, like I'm learning game development and I think that's a natural part of the process and it's okay to explore and not, you know, constantly be making good measurable progress uh, as long as you're having fun and learning something new, right? But that's also so antithetical to shipping and releasing a game, which is what I really want to do. 
I recently began taking digital painting as sort of a fun side hobby. Um, and one of the coolest lessons that I didn't expect it to teach me was the importance of iteration. Uh, I mean, if you take any painting course, the first thing they're gonna tell you is that before you even reach for the colors or anything like that, you start with a sketch of the image. You start blocking out the rough details, the rough shapes. And from there, you add more and more detail holistically until the whole painting sort of comes together. And I think that the same is true for game development, right? And for a lot of 2020, it felt like I was uh, spending hours and hours and hours building out the most beautiful pair of eyes in a painting without even starting the rest of the face, let alone the body or the background. So in a fantastic article I have linked in the description, the creator of Spelunky, Derek Yu, calls this a death loop. And that's exactly what I think I've been stuck in for a long time. And that's okay, I'm not sweating it. But for 2021, my mantra is good enough. I wanna spend the next few months making really fast iterative progress on the game. Uh, building out systems until they're just good enough and then moving on to the next thing uh, instead of wasting so much time finessing the, the the how combat feels or you know how my character sprites move or something like that and getting obsessed with these little details anyway so that's where I'm at it's a little bit of a shorter devlog um, but I wanted to catch you up I wanted to reconnect with this channel and get it going again so you know if you're someone that has subscribed to this channel way back and you're watching this now like thank you so much for sticking around I honestly don't deserve it it. Um, but I can't tell you how much it meant to me, some of the comments I got from people, especially being like, hey man, where the hell are you? Um, so yeah, and it, you know, if you're new to this channel and you are excited by what you see here, if you like the idea of a roguelike that you only have 60 seconds to beat, but you can kind of fudge those numbers because you get powers of time manipulation. Uh, please, please go check my other videos out and you know, click the subscribe button, ring that little bell thingy so that you get notified and I should hopefully have a new video soon. Definitely not a year from now. That's everything I wanted to say. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having an amazing holiday season uh, and it's a nice reprieve from some of the nightmare that 2020 has been. And uh, here's to 2021.